guys, what's up? Today we're doing a head unit install on my Subaru WRX. Now I gotta get back to vacuuming up this trash. Just like every other Subaru WRX or STI owner, we're doing the I doing head unit. I doing! Ugh. I'm not gonna show you the parts that every other video shows you. I'm only going to address the parts that I had questions about as a 2015 specifically WRX owner. I have the older head unit that was kind of the Subaru head unit for 2012 up through 2015. And the very beginning of the WRX got it, but they changed it to their touchscreen Apple CarPlay one in 2016. I had a lot of questions that I couldn't find answers to about would the 2016 through 2021 version of the iDoing work in my 2015? And the answer was no. And so I'm gonna show you guys the differences as best I can and then I'm going to explain to you how I fixed that problem and made sure that I got the right one. We're gonna speed through a lot of the stuff that you can see in more detail on other install videos. So we're just gonna go, just get right into the dirt nasty low type shit and the battery disconnection time. So what do you know? This is my 2015 Subaru WRX that you see in the back of some of the shots of the Civic sometimes. I'm sure that at least one of you is wondering what it was. So that's what it is. I don't do uh, anything with it on this channel because there are so many channels that do Subaru stuff and are already established that I'm just not gonna do anything. It's tuned, uh, it's got some aftermarket parts on it just like every other Subaru on the block. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting to bend a rod, it's sick. <laughs> First difference, uh, between this old stereo and the newer ones that they put in 2016 plus WRXs and STIs. You have to like cram like an extension with a ratchet and an eight millimeter socket up like under or behind the glove box. And then you have to take some trim off the bottom of this crap and like stick it through there just to like loosen the stereo from the back. For some reason they secured it through the sides, which was just really dumb. This one is super simple. It's just some screws, one there, one down there, and then the same on the other side. There's nothing at the back, which is uh, really actually kind of nice. So uh, we're gonna get up and at them. Okay, so one of the main differences between the older head unit like this and the newer one, which I will put a picture of on screen right now, is the connectors at the back. This is why I knew I needed a different version of the eye doing because this is a 16 pin connector and this is a 20 pin connector. Then there's some other odds and ends that plug in. These two connectors are the main connectors, right? But there is no 16 pin, if I'm correct, there is no 16 pin on the newer head units. It's like a 10 pin and then a couple other four or eight pins. And so I was looking at it and I was like, uh oh, I don't think these are the same I doing head unit. So sure enough, I went to a website called WRX Daily. Uh, and they were actually pretty cool. It was the only website where I could find a drop down that made me select either a 2015 WRX or a 2016 through 2021 WRX. And sure enough, I get an email from them actually a couple days after I placed my order. They hit me up and they're like, hey, can you tell us which head unit you have? We just want to verify before we send you the eye doing. And I was like, oh shit, that's cool, okay. And I sent them a picture of my head unit. And then I got a text from them the next day, I think. And they were like, hey, just to double verify, we're gonna text you this time. And they sent me two pictures of the two different options for head units. And they were like, which one of these do you have? They really actually give a shit about which one I have. And that means that I was absolutely right in assuming that there is a different version of the eye doing for the 2015 versus the 2016 through 2021. If you have a 2015, I would definitely recommend going to wrxdaily.com. Not a sponsor, just they have a really great service that they provide. If you have a 2016 through 2021, any of the other YouTube videos talking about and installing the iDoing will be just fine for you because they all have links in the description. So you can just buy it from the website that they bought it from. This is how you know they're on top of that shit. WRX or Forester, old. I'm assuming this was one of the key differences between what I get and what the new car owners get. Stupid idiot. Also, one thing that I noticed that's really cool, they come with instructions on all of the wires. Like straight up, just a, a picture for dummies of, oh, you see those shapes? There's just shapes. This one goes in the shape over here. It's actually pretty sick. 
moment of truth. I got it all plugged in. Uh, I didn't show any of that because it's pretty self-explanatory. I couldn't have done it any better than the videos that already exist. So. Huh? Hey. Hey. Look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. Внимание! Впереди камера. Проверяющая проезд на красный свет. It works. That's kind of sick. Um, I'm gonna get everything like buttoned up and plugged in and make sure that like that shit works, and then we're going uh stop. Turn that shit up. That shit slaps. Now I can view boost on the highway. <laughs> I know this is kind of a short one and it had nothing to do with the Civic, but I hope somebody finds this useful who has the older head unit and is like, okay, which eye doing do I get? Because it keeps saying 2016 through 2021. So yeah, a shorty, but a baddie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it works great. Uh, if you want to know like the functionality and like all the cool things you can do with this, go check out the video by Boost and Shutter on YouTube. That dude goes way in depth with this thing and he knows a lot about it. So uh Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.